this is the back side that I can see from the, basically it's the security road. And, you know, there are numerous signs that say that there is um, security cameras and stuff. Would actually love to speak to somebody and see if they would allow, like, if they would go in with me, let me do a little video, just to kind of look at it and see, because it really does look fascinating. It makes me sad that it's closed right now and just don't know why, other than all this damn pandemic crap. My guess is that <laughs> here's a little quail <laughs> across the road. I love how they run. Um, but there are a couple cars up there and I do wonder if it's people who work security here who are working now I may walk over and see just out of curiosity. I'm going to walk up to the gate and just see, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my mask on in case I do come across anybody. Um, I don't want to be an absolute jerk. But the Joshua trees here are really cool. I just noticed that over um, a little further over. But you know, it's just the security building. Human resources, it says to um, I love those Joshua trees right there. As silly as that sounds. We have like what looks like a barn or I'm not sure, maybe like an oil derrick. I may keep looking into it and see if I can contact anybody because we have a membership to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum and I came down here today for this little behind the scenes class that they had and I'm, I'll maybe upload one of the videos from the um, church that I saw this to, to see this basically the phone up over the fence. I suppose in all honesty if I really wanted to try hard I could try going under but I somehow don't think I'm fitting there either so do you wanna just see if I can camera up or into one of these holes so that I may see what it looks like. That's cool. And it's hard for me too to see the um to see anything because sorry. short I could see something from the highway and I'm very curious about this back here um, it looks like there are a lot of like trailers or something that I'm not sure if people live in them or not definitely a couple empty buildings. Um, now there's somebody here. And there is the little park over there. That's what I thought I saw too, like a geocache or something over there, but I'm gonna come back around. It's just a really bizarre little area. And I don't 
think I'm gonna end up getting out, but I would love to. I'm like, this one looks perfectly fine. This little guy almost looks like Cerberus if he had two more heads. But I'm gonna need to turn around. However, ignore the printing on the front of the car because I drove to get the vaccines last night with Tim and Lily and we got a bunny rabbit. Hi, bunny. You see him? There he is. Just a plain old cottontail. No, no, no. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. So. I wish I had the nerve to get out and actually look in any of these, but I do suspect that uh, it's probably not the best idea for me to, in all honesty. These look rather interesting. Just not sure. And it looks like a scrapyard to my left. Just a lot of scrap metal cars, uh, portions of cars. There were like um, sheds that you would have in yards and stuff. And this is what my area looks like right off of 10. So. Okay, so once again, I'm going to start the video from in the car because the very first time we ever came down to um, Rooster Cogburns, we happened to see these things from 10 and I was very curious. Turns out that in order to find them, you are on a gravel road, first of all, and I don't think that this has anything to do with it. It's Average Joe 4x4 Dirty Mayhem Off-Road. Not sure what that's about, but what this is about are those right there. You can see these also from the highway and there's about seven or eight of them maybe. See them? They were supposed to be apparently part of a, oh God, a 
amusement park of some sort that some guy was going to make and just decided out of the blue that he couldn't. like there it is these tires it look like they form a bridge and quite honestly that kind of looked like something dead but I'm not sure tires no I can't tell what that is Not even sure what or whose land I'm on so I'm probably not going to stay here very long and I'm gonna post a link in the comments um, I have read a blog that somebody did regarding these little uh, I thought they called them uh, from Space Mountain or something um, you can see another one out there closer to the highway like one was just in front of the, there you go, you can see it by that blinking light. They have fascinated me ever since I saw them. And like I said, I was kind of hoping that on the post, it would still have like a little ladder or something to try to climb it because let's admit it, I'm not always the brightest and I probably would have tried to climb it. And this time I wouldn't have been able to say, oh, it's the animal's fault because this had nothing to do with an animal. This would have been me being a stupid human as usual. Um, so yeah, at least now I've gotten a close-up view of him, but I don't even know how he would have expected somebody to get in them anyway. And what is going on over here to this? This is, I have no clue. I've never seen the tires there but I am going to go ahead and turn back around because I don't care if this is supposed to be an SUV. I love completely uh, unrelated. I absolutely have fallen in love with rear view mirror pictures for some reason. But anyway, um, yeah, so I have no idea what's going on there. What I'm driving is while technically an SUV, I don't feel like it's really meant to be driving even on this kind of gravel we found out last week the hard way on accident that uh it's definitely not meant to drive on sand either so um, i have to kind of think this the video might even turn out gorgeous just because of the sun up there Yeah, it says Magic Mountain. That's what I thought um, I had read. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what the heck was going on. What this land is, who it belongs to, all that stuff. Guess what, guys? I kind of figured this would be it. There is a geocache here. And it's so funny because the logs even said something like, think that like those are the remains of one of those big bird cages as they call it something else um, in the cache says something like they got something like an is an Arizona adventure land or something and that the guy ran into um, financial issues 
like I said, I'll pull out 